say that keeps the soul steadfast, steadfast and sure. You will never find instability. Wisdom is always stable. Wisdom is solid. Wisdom is sure. See it again. We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure. A new season is coming your way. You, the one they said you never mattered. The Lord will glorify you. The Lord will glorify you. The Lord will wipe away your tears, your pain, your sorrow, your difficulty. Seek refuge by wisdom. Seek refuge. the name of Jesus. Healing is not a product of men. You heal, but men cure. What these faithful ones are looking for is healing, not a cure. Father, touch their hearts. By wisdom, they have taken this step. Let wisdom heal them. They have taken this step because they believe you can do it. They believe in you. Lord, this morning, show forth your glory. Receive healing. Receive healing. Receive healing. And may wisdom order your steps from today. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you. Believe in this prayer. Walk by it. And you will share your testimony. God bless you. Which can An anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and so sure while the billows roll. Fast into the rock which cannot move. So grounded firm and deep. In the Savior's blood. I have come to the place of realizing that wisdom does not get hurt. Wisdom learns. Wisdom learns. And listen to me. Wisdom is not static. First of all, that is why I said the Kevi nature. Wisdom is like, how do you call it? Oh, there is this old movie, they call it Blob. I mean, it can fit into every corner but cannot be contaminated. Whichever way you turn it, it will turn aluminum. You can bend it like a hot iron. Wisdom is so flexible when in action. 
Make good use of your mind. Free your mind from pain. My darling, free your mind from offense. In fact, stop walking about asking yourself who is thinking about me, who is talking about me, who is trying to betray me, who is trying to break me down, and think about how do I become who am I become so they will be silenced. Wisdom is stable in fire. You can't change it. Wisdom becomes red because of the fire, but not changed because of the fire. This morning, ask yourself, by December, where do I want to see myself in the Lord and in the world? Will the world predict who I will become in the Lord or will the Lord predict who I will become in the world? This morning, let it be God and not dog. Whatever you are doing, my darling, love it. Even if nobody loves it, you are the first customer. Love it. You can never love what you are doing if you don't love yourself. So too, after loving what you are doing, love yourself. Look good in doing it. Sometimes dance at what you are doing. When you are cooking in the kitchen, dance. When you are preparing a goosey soup or whatever, dance. When you are preparing banku kengmon floor, ni wayemin, kakadia mashla, dance. They may not like it, but hey, you love it. Dance. It is what you do at your wisdom, with your wisdom, by your wisdom, and in your wisdom that attracts clients. On the hill, far away, to that old ragged cross. Ah, where's my saxophone? Hey. You see, from next week, you're best at three years as well. Wisdom speaks. And peace and reigns. Are you cle still cleaving to stupidity or wisdom? What do you cherish? He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The word of God is full of wisdom. Come on, lift your right hand and make this confession. To, to the old and I'll change it someday forever. Come on, sing so I cherish. Tell me, what are you going to cleave on to? Some cleave on dresses. Some cleave on their names. But I will cleave to the old dragons. And I will exchange it someday. Someday. Forever. I cherish. So I cherish the old dragons. To the, ha, 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 ha. Come on, somebody, let it be from I will please. And I stand it. And I stand it. And I stand it. Saint, so I cherish. To it. To the old The 
Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Seek wisdom. It can only be found in the word of God. Never stay away from the word of God. Yes, when you fall, get up, shake it off, and go back to the word. Don't fall and go back to the world. When anything happens to you, honey, don't let it happen to God. Because nothing can happen to God, but he can happen to you. Let wisdom help you come back to him. Let wisdom help you let go of the world and hold on. He's got the whole world in his hands. I don't know what you're looking for. That is not in the world. But he's got the whole world. So what you're looking for is in his hands. Why can't wisdom? He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. A year to land fair. Yeah, He had my kata. Lashi. I know the Yasi. A year to land fair. When cash bomb baloney, you walk a cabo te when ele, me cacabo bashipon willy. Honey, has she come on? Akblab, Kaya Yehoa Pokoya. Honey, has she come on? Akudobo, Kaya Yehoa Pokoya. A camoni hum when you let the mohile, eh, you fill a hole. Kao Tao has she come on, Ben Camo Yesu. God will never add up to what does not exist. So when you pray for wisdom without his word in you, you will not be wise. But if the word of wisdom is in you, from tomorrow to the 15th of February, make sure every day you would read a chapter of the book of Proverbs. From tomorrow, read Proverbs chapter 1. Tuesday, Proverbs chapter 2. Wednesday, 3. Thursday, 4. Keep doing so to the 15th of February. And when you read it, pick three things, three verses. That will be your watchword in the day you read it. And see, by 15th February, the wisdom quotes you would have acquired that will order your steps. This morning, I bring you nothing by the wisdom of heaven. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and some few other things will be added unto you. May his word be fulfilled in your life. This week as you walk in wisdom, may his word glorify you. May his word glorify you. May his word put celebration in your mouth. May his word protect you. May his word guide you. May his word cover you. May his word put a new song in your mouth. Whatever promise from heaven that is hanging on your head, as you walk in this wisdom, may it come to pass in your life. In Jesus' name, Amen. I want to do this altar call briefly. This month, the Lord laid it on my heart. How many of you took part in the first week of the fasting? We never took offering. And Friday, we had what we call the sacrifice of excellence. And ladies and gentlemen, the testimonies that I have received so far, you have no idea. We are raising an altar. How many of you remember last Sunday? We are raising an altar of wisdom. We have, the Prophet Nketiah taught you here, we have different kinds of altars. And each altar and their function. Each altar and what they demand for sacrifice. Abraham never said no to any offer of sacrifice that God requested. And it was referred to him as wisdom. So 
So I have said to myself, since I am searching for wisdom, I am willing to pay the price to have wisdom. My darling, sometimes you have to keep quiet. That is the price you have to pay. Sometimes you have to give a seed. It is a price you pay. Because wisdom is not straight. It is windy. So it doesn't come always in blue. Sometimes it comes in purple. In fact, sometimes it comes in black. So not every black, black color you see is a symbol of evil. Stand up if you want to place on this altar a hundred cities. Rise up. God bless you. You see, the place I want you to get to these days is the non-hesitant in sacrifice. I didn't say a thousand cities. I said a hundred cities. You don't have to be thinking. If you have it, you know. Some of you are seated. You know you should be upstanding. By the dream you had last night. The best way to escape. I can call you. Listen, if you haven't been here in the week, then you don't know what we call prophetic. I can see you. You know the dream you had. And you had that same dream last Monday. And you had it last night. And what you have on you is more than a hundred cities. I'm not being a wizard. But God made you come to hear this. So by your, let me tell you something. There is a limit to what prayer can do. But sacrifice can never be stopped because it is a blood thing. Oh, the worshiper in me wants to break free. Rise up and take that envelope and put that hundred cities in it. If you are watching us, the number is on your screen. I said just a hundred cities. If you need an envelope, lift your hand. They will bring it to you. Protocol, please hurry up. Thank you, envelope. Doing it for mobile money, please be standing. Like when I should be With obedience to the word of God. Lift your envelope up. Challenges 
you are watching right now and you are seated here too your challenges you must know that it will take wisdom to bring you out of it this is an opportunity to have an altar take that seat of a hundred cities of wisdom never cease to rise unto you by the sacrifice no matter the webs that evil spiders in the form of human beings will weave around them let the altar speak on their behalf and disentangle them in Jesus name Amen Please drop it on Yeah, bring it to the altar. I know a place I can always run to in times of distress, oh. confusion and fear. When my enemy surrounds me, Father, I know in you I'm safe. For you hear me. Can you see what I'm feeling? How many of you can feel what I'm feeling? It is like we are being connected to pipe. And the pipe is supplying constant life. Newness. Everything about us. wings I am more than safe let wisdom bring you in the shadow let wisdom bring you in the hiding place 